I'm live. Oh, let me do my... This is Lori from the Pink Relic channel. And I just don't feel like going to sleep yet. I've got this jelly printing issue on my mind. So I'm just uh, popping on to see if anybody else is awake. See if anybody will come popping in. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, popping in. I know, it's crazy. I just made myself a cup of coffee. And I'm going to dig out some watercolor paper. I was watching a, a Robin McClendon video. I've heard others in my circle of artisans speak of Robin McClendon, but I never looked at any of her videos. And she was making these delicious jelly plate prints. <laughs> Lisa, hello. You're spinning. <laughs> Lisa, you are unbelievable with what you do with that that weaving and stuff. I mean, my mind just, I cannot even wrap my brain around those stitches you do. Honestly, amazing, truly amazing. I've just got this project on my mind, not really a project on my mind, but this jelly plating, I just cannot, Holly, I know it's early for you, but I wasn't sure if you'd be resting. Hello, hello. So Robin McClendon, who is new, I mean, her name is not new to me, but she is new to me. I mean, she's just, she's absolutely adorable. And I got sucked in with this jelly printing stuff. She was making great prints um, for backgrounds. She uses in different, you know, collage stuff. And she was just layering up all her stuff. And oh my gosh. Am I buffering? It looks okay for me. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's only 8 o'clock for you. I know, but I just thought maybe you'd be busy. I just, I'm terrible. I just don't feel like going to sleep. I think I could go to sleep, but I just don't want to go to sleep. Of course, hubby's probably going to be up early and hit the road, because he's headed out of town. So I've got that on my mind. Anyway, I'm going to clean my plate off. And what Robin was doing, she was using alcohol instead of water to make making some of these inks um, disperse on the plate. And I think what I was doing wrong is I'm, well, not that it's wrong, but uh, trying to achieve the results she achieved, I think I was using too many colors, too many colors of paint. So I'm going to see if I can clean off my plate and kind of just stick to she was using mostly like a walnut color vintage photos and those kinds of colors and she was using whites and browns and golds so i'm just going to put it on a thin I'm, I'm thinking maybe i can get this to pick up if i just put on a thin coat of white and just kind of, so I really should be making, I should be finishing up my Grinch light bulbs. And I know people say, just write it down and you can get this out of your head. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I'm not sure um, what to tell you that you might try. Um. I don't know if I have like 720. I, I mean, I popped on um, 
Facebook. I'm not in StreamYard. Maria, hi. How are you? Yes, it's early for you too, girl. What have you been up to, Maria? Little Maria Mullis Miscellany. I have so much jazz around this jelly plate. I just said that weaving. Oh my gosh. I cannot even believe the stuff she can do on that little loom and those different stitches. Woo. So has anybody um, watched or followed Robin McClendon? You just got home. You're waiting for dinner to heat up. All right. Boy, that's getting home late. You're getting home from work? That's late. Oops. There's my big old nail. Well, that didn't work so good. All right. Um, Robin said you have to warm up your plate. So I, if I'm remembering correctly, what she did. Oh, you went shopping after work. Oh, oh very nice. All right. So she put down just two colors. So I'm going to do this gold. Haven't done gold. If I can get it out. It's not really gold. Saffron yellow. I'm trying to use up some of these paints. Woo, excuse me. That was that was quite noisy. And then she would use, I'm trying to get rid of this basics. This has a little bit of a sheen to it, so I'm not real crazy about it for other stuff I do. So I'm just gonna put a little blob of that and then she used a paintbrush and uh, put a little alcohol on her plate now I'm going to use this scruffy brush to kind of like move this around now I put some alcohol in my spray bottle here And then she just kind of like scrubbed it around. Now that's really thick. Let's see, I have a second one. She tried to keep her white brush really white. Oh, I saw, I've seen those, but those were, yeah, boy, I didn't even know they still did that. That's cool. All right, this is probably not the best yellow. And she just scrubbed her paint around. Yeah, I'll probably have too much on here. Now, I'm embarrassed to say I have watched the video twice. It's still just not making sense to me what she was doing. But her prints looked fabulous. And I think she might have, like, maybe scrubbed these up a little bit to kind of, like, blend them up a little bit. And then she would just take... All right, I'm going to use this rusty hinge. Just this, um, you know, sprays that Tim Holtz has. Let me put that down here. And what she was getting was, like, a stone kind of marbling effect. And she was using, I think, uh, she used a lot of black soot. Here's some vintage photo. I'll spritz some of that out. And where's my black soot? Three sixty. Is Lisa still buffering? Okay, now I'm going to take my alcohol ink and you spritz, you spritz that, the dye that you sprayed on there, and then you let, let it kind of move and dissolve. And it's supposed to make what she calls like a stone kind of, um, yeah, it looks like a stone wall almost.
Well, I've used it. I've used mine a couple of times. I have the bigger one and I have this one. But I just, boy, some of those girls are just so good at it. Well, Lisa's very good at it. Lisa always has beautiful prints. All right, now let me see. I had a big stack of paper. Oh, my husband was printing. He moved my paper. I see what he did here. And then she just, now see, mine doesn't look like it's moving so much, but I could have too much paint. And then she said, um, using the alcohol, your papers, your pages will dry faster. Now, earlier when I was messing around with it, well, okay, so I think definitely have too much paint on here. So, and my paint, that yellow that I used, she used a brayer a little bit. It kind of, the paint's kind of like drying and like um, getting all elasticy and not really picking up. And she just like, she scrubbed her paintbrush like this. I'm going to try that vintage photo again. Lori, did you get another Amazon catalog for Christmas? I did just... It's fun. Yes, in fact, I have one, Holly. I was going to ask you. I was going to send you one if you didn't get one. All right. I like this rusty hinge. Put a little bit of that in. And then spritz it with the alcohol. It's supposed to move like if you're doing watercolor painting, you know, and then you would... Uh, put some salt down on the paint and how it's supposed to like bubble and move. That's kind of how this is supposed to look. Now she also used some watercolor paper. So I'm going to use this. I've got these, uh, I guess these are eight by eight squares. I think um, Hobby Lobby, I got them for like a dollar and a quarter or something. But it's the, um, it's the cold press. So it's it's bumpier than what I normally like to paint on. So I thought I'll just use it for something like this. And then I guess she did Robin. I'm talking about Robin McClendon. Oh, there's seven people awake. Now that kind of looks that kind of looks cool. But I need to try to clean off this, this, my plate. Hey, Barb, how are you? Chicken pot pie. I could go for some chicken pot pie. I'm trying to drink my coffee while it's still. All right, I'm going to just put white on here. And I'm going to brayer it on. Let's see if I can lift up what's on this plate and clean it off and start afresh. Now, Robin McClendon, she had a really cool edging. And then she would do this. Uh, well, I'm here, but I can't attest to being awake. Well, I'm awake for now. All right, let's see. Let me. I tried to show my one, my sisters earlier a um, a transfer type of thing. No, it didn't work so good either. So I'm just using some old scrap paper here. I think part of my problem is I don't pick the right colors to show. Um, what I'm trying to pull off the plate. Now, see, look, that's, how about that?
Now that's printed from a printer. Can you guys see that? It's a it's a building. It's a house. Heavens and Mercatroid. Then I tried. What else did I try? I tried some um, some leaves. Put some leaves down. They didn't work. I, I'm pretty. I was pretty frustrated actually. All right. So I think. Devin Rex says, if you dry this off, can you see it, huh? It looks kind of cool. But see, now, what color do I put on top of here to then be able to see this once I pull it? So now Devin would say, oh, maybe I'll use like a, a light turquoise color. Draw, let this dry, correct? I'd let this dry first. just really am wanting to clean this plate off so I can try um, Robin's technique. All right, so now I'm going to take, hmm, see, this is the hard part. Devin's right. This is the hard part, waiting. Well, they're dropping like flies. We're down to four peeps. Okay, I'm trying to make a crocheted hat, like a slouch hat for my bonus son, right? Light blue or turquoise. Yeah, that's what I got. Oh, Bahama blue. And I'm on my second hat, crocheting, because that seems to go quicker. And of course, I'm running out of time. Okay, so now I want this to be a thin coat, I believe, right? And Dev goes in one direction first. And I think I'm okay. I'm, I'm moving that, taking some off of the bottom and moving it up top. And then she kind of goes this way. And they just they just look like big saucers or big um I don't know like crochet trivets. I mean the, the hats look terrible. I don't know whether the yarn I'm using is just too thick. Um I'm using a pretty big hook. I'm using a a J hook. That's I don't know. Just just had a frustrating day, kids. Frustrating day. All right, now this is really, I'm just trying to clean off the plate. It's not, it's not cleaning it all off. And you can't see the house. Maybe I better just get out a baby wipe. Well, that's not a bad print, but you really, I mean, sitting here, of course, I can see the, the little shutters on the house, but of course, I wasn't going for that either. So, all right, let's baby wipe it. Maria's working on a diaper cake. And I'm going to baby wipe my jelly plate. Now, I think um, Robin McClendon has a whole series of uh, using her jelly plate and, and using different, um, I guess you would say, mediums on it. This one, uh, I think she calls it grateful, grateful for Water, but the liquid or water that she's using in this video is alcohol. And I think it's just straight up alcohol, you know, like you like like you have in your medicine cabinet. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Maybe I'm. Hey, Ray. Maybe I'm using the wrong um, 
Oh, well, that could be. She just says alcohol. It never occurred to me that it might be the alcohol that you've, duh. Although this does move um, the paint somewhat for the spray, the spray ink. I don't think I have any of the other kind of alcohol. You know, I have alcohol inks, but they're, of course, they're all colored. They're not just clear alcohol. I guess I'm kind of babbling. I'm babbling. Oh, look at the pretty purple hearts and the stars. Okay. That's, that's fairly clean. All right. Now let's give it a go. Let's try to dry this off a little. Ooh, 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 ooh. I need a little fan. Whoop. I got so much stuff out. It's, you know, really embarrassing. I had just gotten everything all cleaned up and then I had to get involved in this nonsense. But, you know, I'm sitting here trying to keep myself occupied. She's the one with donuts in all her work, no? Hey, Zena. Um, you know, I just, I've heard other girls mention her name, Robin McClendon. I don't really know anything about her, except she's, she's adorable. And her, the, the video I watched, I watched it twice. It's the only video I've watched of hers. And she's quite talented. Her style is really cool. Um... She has a couple hundred videos. She looks like she's maybe a working lady. I think she comes on on Saturdays. I just subscribed. And if I got it right, she just puts down paint on her plate like this. She picked two different colors. I think I remember her saying she sticks to two colors. And then she spritzes it with alcohol to get the paint moving. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. And then she took uh, Tim Holtz and then she said the uh, Seth Adler, Adler, is that his name? Sprays. Patty demos a lot of her stuff. Yeah, it sounds like she's got like um, printables and stuff you can get. Boy, that yellow, I think I just need to throw that out. That's really pretty bad looking. It's all lumpy and bumpy after I just cleaned my plate. All right, so I'm going to put on the rusty hinge again if I can find it. There it is. I like that. So she just spritzed a little spray. And I have a walnut here somewhere. I think I want something a little darker. see about a year or so ago I contacted a lady I was sitting up late at night it's like two o'clock in the morning okay Maria thanks for stopping in enjoy your dinner I hope you're I'm sure your little cake project will turn out great and then she sprayed on her sprays anyway I picked up um a lot of supplies from this gal and uh, she had all these sprays. I've really never done much with them. And put a little blue up there. Now, see, that's starting to craze and crack a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell. See, now here I look like I got too much. It's hard to... Um, I wish I could find my little pippet things, but I can't. Where I could just, like, drip on the ink sprays because these sprays they go all over all right sopped up a little bit of that and then she just put her paper down and when she pulled it off she had a nice edge and she had um 
it looked like a, like stone walls. What, Cena? Oh. oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Cena. That's tough. Tough stuff. Well, that looks kind of cool. That's really kind of, that is more looking like what she got, except she didn't get all the pieces of paint. See, my paint, my yellow paint there is kind of like rubbery. I'm not liking that so much. I'm going to get rid of that yellow. Let's get rid of that yellow. I think that's got to go in the bin. It's too old and lumpy and stringy. Aww. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe I'll leave that on there. I want another darker color. Let me try blue. Blue is always, it's always a good color. So let me put some blue down. <clears throat> and I'm going to use some more of this white. I'm trying to use up this white that I don't care for. Now, a lot of people say don't put any of the, the um, glitter stuff on your jelly plate either, but I don't listen. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to put on... Sea Sparkle. See, I get into um, too many colors. She was just using two colors. See, and then I go, I go rogue. This is how I get in trouble. And then I don't get the <clears throat> get <clears throat> the look I'm trying to get because I don't listen. All right, scrub that around. Now, she would say, get some alcohol on there and get this paint moving. So that loosens it up a little bit. Now, I'm going to brayer this part down here. Kind of try to blend that up in here a little bit. That, that glitter paint is really kind of stinky. It's a, little, it's a little stinky. Hey, Ange, what are you doing awake? You're supposed to be asleep. All right, now let's see. Let's see. I don't know if you'll because this is dark. I did try this brushed pewter earlier. I do like this. So let's see if we can get anything out of this. Kind of make it look like an ocean. And I've got broken china. Let's salty ocean. Let's give that a let's give that a go. I think I'm pushing down too far, too hard on the little spray bottles. All right, now I'm gonna spritz it with my alcohol and then give it a minute to kind of do its thing. See down here, I don't know, can you tell? I don't know if you can tell if I bring it down a little bit more. I want you to see my lap. And then I'm giving it a chance to move about a bit. See, and then I can't resist, like Devin's always got these cool things. Holly sent me this to make little marks here and there. See, I just can't leave it alone. I should get my phone and show you what kind of stuff she was doing.
If I missed anybody to come in that I didn't say hello to, I apologize. I didn't mean to. I don't have my phone set up, so kind of squinting to see my chat. You're with your aunt's mother-in-law who has old time. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Oh, so you're doing your little, yeah, you're taking care over there and uh, making sure she got has what she needs for your auntie. I'm going to use, this is, um, I have a little, a couple of those little books, you know, just supposed to be for sketching or painting. It's a little heavier paper. I don't think it's watercolor paper. I should look at what the front says. I've been doing a lot of my cleaning off my prayer in this book. Let's see. I think it's just mixed media paper. It's Arteza acid-free spiral bound ideal for wet and dry media yeah so it's just a mixed media paper so i pulled a couple of those out and this one had a big wrinkle in it that's kind of cool looking there on the bottom Okay, so I think I'm doing too much paint as usual. I'm very heavy handed. Okay, so let's um, just put on thin coat. And let me get a little bit of, um, let me try a little purple. My hands are really, really crudded up. I left a couple of my brushes out, which is not good. Not good. Okay, now I'm trying to keep the, the uh, paint thinner. Put a little bit of purple up there. And I have this, it's called pomegranate, I think. Pomegranate seed. Give a spritz of that. And then I do have some purple, crushed grape. I'm getting too much on there, I think. And then spritzing it with the alcohol. I'll have to look. I'll have to watch. Actually, what I should do is look at the bottom of her video and see if she lists the products that she uses. Perhaps she says what kind of alcohol she's using there. All right, so I'm just going to use regular paper. This is just like copy paper. Maybe a, just a little bit nicer than copy paper. And hers looks like this when she would run it where she had the alcohol. Does anybody know the difference between alcohol that you keep in your I also ordered a pack of, and now I have to find them. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have the little ones. I think they would be fun to work with. I'm 
I'm just doing too big of an area. That was one thing uh, my sisters and I loved. My grandmother always had pomegranates. Oops. Paint down. Rope. Ru Sorry. Sorry about that, girls. I don't need to make you want to read the fridge. All right, I'm getting rid of the sweater. All right, so let me try um, this Bahama blue. I'm going to do a smaller area. Maybe that's part of the charm of what she did. This baby is just about empty. And then I'm going to do a crazy green. This is lime green. I love green. Green! Thanks, Re. Okay, so let me do that. And I'm going to rinse my brush just a little bit. Well, there still is a lot of alcohol in the plate. Now, this one's going to be crazy. I need some suggestions of colors that people... The idea is to have these pages ready so that when you want to do an art page, you can use them as a base. You know, tear them up, add them on onto an a, you know art journal page. All right, so I've got some greens. Cracked pistachio. Now, this is a blue-green, so let's see if that shows up. And then I've got some darker crushed olive, so it's more yellow. And then up in that blue area, let's go with our... Um, Salty Ocean. I keep picking that up. And there's a little bit of overspray. Alcohol. Actually, all around my plate, I wonder if I, when I go to clean up, if there's any way I can pick that up off of my work surface. Because some of that looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of funky looking. It's got a tough red, like leathery kind of a skin on it. And uh, when you cut it open, it's got all these little seeds that have the pomegranate juice. Uh, when I was a kid, we didn't eat the seeds. We just bit them and squashed all the juice out in our mouths. And we spit the seeds out. But they put them on salads and stuff these days. And people just crunch them up. That's too um, too one toned, and they're too too separate. That's that's yucky. Yucky, yucky, yucky. I'm gonna try to lift up some of this with that um, watercolor paper because I can print again on top of this too. So that needs something additional. Let's try um, a turquoise again. And let me try. See, I just, I want different colors. I want 
Let's try a little purple and a little blue. Darker blue. This is uh, the ult ultramarine. Let's do a little ultramarine down here. What did I do with my phone? Oh, there's my phone. I forgot it was in my stead. I have it plugged in. Oh, okay. So she's just going to keep an eye on. The little lady she's keeping an eye on. Okay, and Okay, so... I do like this silver a lot. See, I think that looks cool. Let's do a little purple up here. I'm switching to just the word purple, in case anyone has noticed. Watching my lingo. I wonder if salt would have the same effect. Of course, I guess you probably don't want... Jacques Pepin? What did we learn from Jacques? Treat yourself to something, Angie, with how many earned it's challenging you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Not an easy job. I'm going to try to sneak up some of this extra ink. There. I've got a little bit of a pattern there. better where that silver is it's better see it's too solid right here hmm now I'm going to go back and put my watercolor and see if I can pull up some of this I can remember walk, watching Jack Boupin with my granny. Yeah, it does look ocean-y. Oh, that looks cool. That wouldn't be a good background for some collage, right? Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try a little orange. And then a little Georgia clay. I love me some Georgia clay. Hello, Sharon Lombard. How are you? I didn't feel like going to bed. I should go to bed. All right, so I'm putting a little dark orange there. And I'm going to stick with my turquoise up top. 
Maybe I'll add a little white. And I'll have to fit my page here. And this out. Trying to keep the colors. Not too contaminated with each other. You know, okay. Now I want darker down here. Let me see if I can find that walnut. Antique linen's not very dark. Here we go. All right, walnut we'll put down towards the bottom. Then I have a tattered rose somewhere. Oh, this is post box red. Oh, I don't think I tried that one. Tattered rose. I'm going to put that up towards the top. Let's see, something other than ocean blue. Mowed lawn, I don't think I want that. Black soot. Oh, geez, you know, hang in there. Um, let's see, I'm going to go for the pomegranate again. That's got a real big spray. So it was clogged before and then I cleaned the nozzle. I'm trying to just spritz a little of the alcohol so just like dripping on and then it's you start to see it work a little bit okay ha 28 outside huh mm. Murray said they had snow the other day All right, let's see how this looks. Well, that definitely looks better. I still don't think it looks like stone. Hers really look like a stone background. Maybe I should try some black. I think this is going to look cool, though, for a second pickup. Let's see. I've got some more of this mixed media paper I pulled out of my book. Let me see if I can. I've got more of the... Um, Where do I throw the rest of that? I wanted to make some pulls on some book pages, but I don't know whether it's just not, it's just not picking it up very well, I don't think. Hey, Teresa. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Let's see how this one looks. 
it's too dry. Too dry. See, I tried it on a book paper earlier. I had this kind of olivey green and didn't really do anything. Hmm. I wonder if how it would look. I guess you really couldn't pick up much, could you? If you don't put any paint down and you just did some of the spray. Hmm. I'm going to try. Excuse me. I'm going to try it. Redo that page, says Zena. Okay, so what did I have? I had some purple, right? No, I started out with the blues. I had the um, a little bit of ultra marine. Just look at the messy lid. Purple. And I had some of Bahama blue. And some white. And I uh, brayered, trying to keep them somewhat separate until I got them kind of doing kind of like an ombre kind of. That white's really thick. I still think perhaps my, see, I didn't pay attention to this, but I think I probably have too much paint. And maybe the uh, spray ink cannot work through the thick layer of paint. So let me, of course, my little brayers crying, a little brayers crying. All right, so let's put the silver down at the bottom. Love that, love that. I mean, it sprays out just in little boop. Okay, so then we did some um, tattered rose at the top. All the way across and then I did the pomegranate Ooh, much too much and some purple my hands are really stained that purple over there see the tattered is starting to it's almost like a crackle paint kind of a look I probably have alcohol in my coffee now. Not good. All right, let's see. Okay, if you're so inclined, you guys have to look up Robin McClendon and look for this, this video I watched. The hers look nothing like this. Hers are like, when she pulls that paper off, you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I could do that. I 
I'm going to have to watch it a third time. I'm starting to wear out a little bit, I think. All right, so I'm going to try the thinner white paint. Okay. I'm going to try a little copper. Little copper dopper. I'm going to spread that out thin, thin. Now she did use a brush because she liked getting some brush strokes in there, but I'm I'm not really seeing my brush strokes, so I'm just going to bray her. Whirr, whirr, whirr. Where's my bigger? I don't know why. I have a... Um, it's not Captain and Tennille. I have a song in my head. It's just not, just not going away. What is the barb? All right, I'm doing black soot, and then I'm gonna do the um, rusty hinge to kind of mimic the copper up top. To real, to replace Oh, last night I heard a da da de 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 da 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 What is it, Barb? What is it, Barb? Da 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 Um, that's not Captain and Tennille, right? Who's the lady singing that? Okay, so I'm getting some movement here. Getting some movement. It's going to drive me crazy. I don't know why that song is in my head. All right, let's see. Here we go. Does she know? This is a bit chilly, November 2nd. Too soon, and I'll be 30. Uh, yeah, too soon, too soon. Does anybody know why the paint, my paint, is real scut like real, like strings, like rubber bands? That's kind of cool. Oh, last night. Could get to sleep at all. No, no. Da 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 Marilyn McCoo? Is it Marilyn McCoo? What was the name of that group? Why would that be? Yeah, I'm just not picking up nothing now. Nothing, honey. All right, I'm going to put on a layer of light. Of, maybe I'll do the blue. Do that little light blue. Let's see. Oh, they're brother and sister. I think what she's singing... Is you think it's Captain and Tennille? Yeah, 
Yeah, Marilyn McCoo in the fifth dimension. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. That's that's who I'm thinking of. I might be wrong, but that's that's what I have in my mind is who it is. Why would that be in my head? I mean, when we play um, music here, a lot of times we listen to um, my husband will say, Alexa, play Karen Carpenter radio on Pandora. But I don't. But he worked today, so we didn't have it on. So I don't know. I don't know why it's in my head. Okay, this is a very light coat. Light coat. And I'm going to pull up for some, some of the uh, watercolor paper. See if I can get it. Yeah, fifth dimension. Barb, she knows her stuff. I just don't know why it's in my mind. Watched one of my favorite Hall Hallmark movies earlier. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's not much on there. But it's cool. Uh, let, me, let me do some... Oh, did I knock over the black? I have more trouble... Was keeping track of my black paint. No, 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 it's not the black. It's called A Crown for Christmas. I absolutely love this movie. I've already watched it, I think, four times. It's not even Christmas yet. Of course, they just keep playing the same movies over and over, right? I just love it. I just love it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put black. And then I'm going to put the silver. guess Lisa had too much buffering. She probably left. But Lisa is the expert on the on the sear jelly plate. Uh, and Devin. Devin's Devin's got it going on too with the jelly plate. Okay, this silver has a little ball in it. So when you mix it up. All right, so let's give a spritz. Now I'm going to spritz it with the alcohol. I'm even doing it in the black area to see if... That looks like marble on the plate right now. It really looks like marble. Good night, Ange. Have a good snooze. Hope you have a good day tomorrow. You can't really see because there's such a glare on the plate. See, now this looks cool here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can see the little... See, now that looks more like stone or granite. Whoa. That looks more like what I think she was doing, but hers was more centralized and prettier. It was per hers was per hers were really pretty, 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 pretty. Let's see if I can pick up any of this here. Oh. 
Holly, remember that one time I was doing, I had like, um, oh gosh, like chrysanthemums or, or maybe they were marigolds and I was dipping them in the paint and pushing them down. And then we did black and metallics and all that jazz. They were cool. I have no idea how I did it. All right, I have some green. Oh, here it is. I'm going to use this olive green. And I'm going to still, I'm going to use up this turquoise. And I'm going to use the brush like Robin was using the brush and I've got other color paints on this brush but I'm just gonna do it now what I don't know so you've got to pay closer attention Lori when you watch a video She really just kind of went shush, 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 like that. Well, let me try that walnut again. If I rusty hinge, I'm always picking up rusty hinge. Tea dye is not kind of, it's kind of not too dark. Oh, last night, I didn't get to sleep at all. No, no. Stoned coral, antique linen. I know I have the walnut. I just tattered rose. Here you go. Oh, vintage photo. What that ought to do? That ought to do. I'm wondering in this distress spray stain if they have other brushed colors, you know, other than pewter. I'll have to check into it. I really like that. Quite a lot, you see. I like it quite a lot. Yeah, I enjoyed Chorus Lime too. Of course, the one song I remember, I really can't say on camera. But it was quite good. Okay. See, it's just not. I think this is going to be a hot mess, this particular. much paint that looks like the blob from the uh, black lagoon I'm going to do I'm going to do this again I'm liking I think the second pull better Ree, you are reading my mind, girl. Read my mind. <laughs> That's the one. That be the one. It was good though, right? Great, great, great. Great show. Great show. All right, let's, this is a combo of the green that was left on the plate, and I'm using the lighter weight white paint, not the heavy body, 
heavy body stuff. It looks like a stone color, kind of cool. Let's have that pomegranate. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sharon. Okay. That looks kind of cool there. It almost looks like a fruit. It's got the little little veiny things going. See in here it's kind of crackling. Over here on the plain part where I didn't put any of the spray. Well, I guess the upside is they had to use that tube sharon. You're still here, so I'm glad about that, right? Whoa. What do you think? Anybody have any? I know you probably none of you have watched Robin McClendon's video that I'm talking about. So I know like to look and compare. You know. But what colors? What colors should I? Should I try something else? I think it's always fun to hear somebody sing into the top of their lungs, no matter what, right? <laughs> well, I could show you what I did earlier. These are some of the ones I did earlier. I don't know. I don't have my phone hooked up. I don't know how these colors are coming across. Then I tried ripping, you know, smaller. See, this is what I tried to do on the book paper. I thought that would be a real clever idea, but see, it didn't, didn't pick up so great. Now, of course, these are all the smaller watercolor ones. Hmm. Some of these I think I need to pick up other, you know, pick up uh, some other stuff on them. Is this one we did tonight? I don't know. See, this one doesn't look bad. Plus, I have sparkle in there. You probably can't see the sparkle, but I love the sparkle. Woo! I think that one looks kind of cool. But, of course, you know, very dark. This has a little bit of pink in it. Can you see the pink? And, of course, some sparkle. 
And then I used, Holly, I used that mat you sent me. That's like, you know, you're supposed to put in the bottom of your sink. It's got the little flowers. I should, I should pull it up on my phone so I can see what you're, what you're seeing. Let me see if I can find myself. I just want to find myself. It's not loading. Oh, YouTube. Hello. I can't believe it's not. I can't find me. Am I live? Oh, this is where I tried the leaves. That wasn't what Robin was doing. As you can see, I, you know, kind of veer off the path. That's pretty. That's pretty yucky. This one's not too bad, I don't think. This looks a little bit more like what what she was able to achieve. I can't get it to come up on my phone. I want to see how the colors look. This, I think I need to print again on this, right? To a three-way text sounds I've seen. Anyway, gotta go. Okay, okay, Barb. Good night. Oh, this I used a little swooshy thing. Yeah, it's just, huh? I can't connect to the internet. Raw. See now, I like this part down here. Oh, I like this piece. I don't know, girls. <sighs> I think I think maybe the jelly plate's just not my thing. Yeah, I think some of these I'm just gonna have to. Pull some other, try to pull some other prints on it. This looks more stony down here, and it's got a lot of grunge on it. A lot of, you can feel the paint. Seeing like this, this is light, but this was more like what she was getting. Like this kind of looks like stone. I did pull a couple on some black paper. They don't look so good either. Where did they go? I like how that paint blob went there. See over here? See, this is kind of what she was doing. See, that's kind of cool, right? Maybe I was going too dark. Maybe my colors. But she used a lot of the black soot. When this video loads up, I have to, I'll have to put I'll put her um, link in for that the video I watched. I'm really disappointed about my book pages. That looks like a crime scene right there. Okay. Then I got a little out of control with the kappa. Hey, kappa. Thanks, Ray. This, this bottom half's not too bad. It's kind of like Hall Halloween. 
I got my shimmer. Got my shimmer there. So see, I did plenty. And then the ones I did tonight. I kind of really, I kind of like that one. Of course, yellow. Who wants to work with the yellow? Hey, Aunt, I thought you were going to bed. Oh, no. Ange, can you call uh, her um, normal caregiver and get a suggestion? Or maybe just get her comfy and she have like a... Um, um, like a recliner chair that you could get her comfy in and would she stay in a chair where she could, you know, fall asleep? Oh, that's a good idea too, Ray. Ray, does she have a, a any kind of sleep aid that you can give her? Oh, Ange. Yeah, sometimes when they have... Uh, that condition, you know, there is no rhyme or reason. They just... For, they're unsettled, you know. Like right now, it's not norm for her. Angie's there, not not her regular caregiver, so she might just just be a little, you know, off. That one is awful. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Of course, I like purple, green, purple and green, right? If she's not being disruptive, Ange, maybe just let her, maybe she'll calm down. If you could get her comfy in a chair, that might help. Mm. Yeah, if she has a, a comfy chair, you know, or if there's something she likes to do, like if she likes to look at a book or uh, put on a TV program she likes or play music. If you know any, you see, she might not, Ange might not know any of that about her, you know. All right, gals, I'm going to cut out and go relax in my chair and see if I can get a little snooze. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit here while I try to get myself feeling a little weary. I appreciate it. And, um. Uh, I'll probably try this again sometime. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Recall a family member that might have a suggestion. Hot tea. Maybe hot tea. Maybe she's got, uh, what's the tea? That chamomile? You got any chamomile tea that you could give her? That might calm her down a little bit. Oh, good. Good idea, Ange. All right. Good night, ladies. Thanks for the thumbs up. Take care. I'll probably see you all somewhere tomorrow. Thanks, Zena. Zena, you take care. Hang in there, all right? We're we'll praying for you girls, Ange, Zena. And uh, don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.